हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डिजाइन ऑफ जॉइंट्स इन सीमेंट कंक्रीट पेवमेंट्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स प्रोवाइडेड इन द सीमेंट कंक्रीट व्हिच आर एज एक्सपेंशन जॉइंट्स कॉन्ट्रैक्शन जॉइंट एंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉइंट नाउ वी विल स्टडी एक्सपेंशन जॉइंट The purpose is to allow the expansion of pavement due to rise in temperature with respect to construction temperature. To design the joint, we find out the joint for a given joint thickness of 2.5 cm maximum as specified by Indian Road Congress. The maximum spacing between expansion joint is 140 m. At the expansion joint, dowel are provided which develops bending, bearing and shearing stresses. and help in load transfer the filler provided at the expansion joint are assumed to be compressed by 50% of its thickness during expansion hence the gap of the joint should be twice the expansion in the concrete which is shown here filler has the original thickness of delta but due to expansion of slab it gets compressed to maximum of delta by 2 so l alpha delta will be equals to delta by 2 so l will be equals to delta upon 2 alpha delta where l is the maximum spacing between expansion joint delta is the gap of expansion joint alpha equals to coefficient of thermal expansion and delta is the rise in temperature now the next type of joint is the contraction joint it is provided to control crack due to shrinkage and moisture variation to regulate the crack that is to ensure that crack forms at predetermined location slab is weakened at certain intervals these locations are called contraction joint which is shown here now spacing of contraction joint during initial curing periods shrinkage occurs in the concrete and if the shrinkage is resisted tensile stress develops in the concrete slab fall of temperature will also develop the tensile stress in the concrete slab when no reinforcement has been provided in the concrete slab length of contraction joint is calculated as follows that is l is equals to 2 sigma upon small f into gamma of concrete where sigma is the permissible tensile stress in concrete f is the coefficient of friction between concrete and base l is the spacing between contraction joint and gamma concrete is the unit weight of concrete when reinforcement is not provided the maximum spacing between contraction joint is taken as 4.5 meter now one note is written here that is when coefficient of friction is 1.5 gamma of concrete is 24 kN per meter cube if sigma value is not given then it is taken as 0.8 kg per cm square when reinforcement is provided in the slab it is assumed that all tension is taken by reinforcing steel only therefore sigma st into ast is equals to b into l by 2 into h into gamma of concrete into coefficient of friction so l will be equals to 2 sigma st into ast upon b into h into gamma concrete into coefficient of friction now the next joint is the longitudinal joint longitudinal joints are provided along the length of pavement it reduces the warping stress the normal width of slab and provided longitudinal joint we generally provide tie bars at the longitudinal joint the tie bar ensures that the two adjacent slab remains firmly together tie bars are not designed as load transfer device but ensures that the two slabs remains firmly together load is actually transferred to the adjacent slab due to aggregate interlock tie bars are bounded with concrete and we mostly used deformed bar of size approximately 10 mm diameter their length is smaller than the length of dowel bar they are designed to withstand tensile stresses generated due to frictional forces between slab and the soil below assuming all forces in unit length of slab to be taken by the tie bars we have longitudinal joints like this now we have ast into sigma st equals to l into b into h into gamma of concrete into f from which ast will be equals to b into h into coefficient of friction into gamma of concrete upon sigma st where ast is the area of steel per unit length sigma st is the permissible tensile stress in the steel 
that is 1400 kg per centimeter square f is the coefficient of friction which will be equals to 1.5 gamma of concrete equals to 24 kN per meter cube the length of the tie bar is decided on the basis of development length the length would be equals to 2 times of development length so here length will be equals to 2l thus n into pi into phi into ld into tau bd is equals to n into pi into phi square upon 4 into sigma st so development length will be equals to sigma st into phi upon 4 tau bd so the length of tie bar will be equals to sigma st into phi upon 2 tau bd where n is the number of bars phi is the diameter of bar LD is the development length, tau BD is the bond stress between steel bar and concrete, sigma ST is the permissible tensile stress in steel. That is all about the design of joints in cement concrete pavement. Thank you very much students.